good morning all on the special request of uh, our polytechnic they have uh, asked us to perform a competency on uh, leak testing of a domestic air conditioner you can uh, see we have uh, uh, any leak uh, in our drive over here these are commercial spin lead units and these are mounted in your residential homes uh, to perform the leak testing and charging on these units it will be these units have not uh, provided with the service bar on both the suction and delivery side so that's why i have decided to perform the leak testing and charging on air cooled condensing units so first air cooled condensing unit this is not new for you this is a air cooled condensing unit so likewise we have um, got our air cooled condensing here you can see this air cooled condensing unit is being provided with uh, this is a condenser this is air cooled condenser this is the fan this is the fan motor and here you can see only the outer unit or the components of outer units are here this is the compressor this is the receiver then uh, two capacitors are provided here and another two protection device that is a uh, high pressure switch and a low pressure switch high pressure safety switch and low pressure safety switch it is uh, provided and two surface valves are incorporated this setup is made and you can perform for the performing of the experiments specially designed for to perform these experiments in our commercial residential units these surface valves are not provided so that's why i have decided to perform the experiment on air cooled condensing units and another component it is here the capillary tube this is you can see this is the capillary tube and this condensing unit is not being provided with cooling coil but we call it uh, as uh, evaporator or chiller so that's why we have <coughs> fabricated this one our students have fabricated this one this is the cooling coil this cooling coil we have to incorporate or we have to assemble here and our objective is to leak test of this total unit this uh, cooling coil and this condensing unit so before performing for the test or for the leak testing procedure first you must be convergent with the tools and equipments that we will be in need for this experiment okay so first thing we may require <coughs> this we call it as your manifold gauge this we call it as your gauge manifold manifold gauge and here you can see two gauges are provided and uh, one is being colored with blue color another is red color so it shows it is the low pressure side in our ac or air conditioner or refrigerator there are two pressure sides one is your low pressure side another is the high pressure side so for this low pressure connection this blue manifold gauge or this color <coughs> this blue hose it is being connected here and for high pressure side or which is the outlet from the compressor outlet from the compressor that means discharge we may also call it is your delivery delivery side i will show it there whenever i will perform this experiment portion and there is a side plug and two wheels two spindles are being provided so this is called as your manifold gauge one is for suction side another is for discharge side and three holes are being connected you may ask sir why three holes are connected one is okay for suction side gauge another for discharge side gauge and this middle one this middle one 
is for refrigerant charging or discharging. This we will incorporate for suppose we want to charge it or we want to uh, fill nitrogen gas or we want to discharge the gases from this. Everything will be done through this meeting hose. This hose, this uh, yellow line hose, this yellow hose is connected to low pressure gauge simultaneously with the high pressure gauge with this hand wheel. Suppose this hand wheel is now in closed position now. That means the connection between the <laughs> middle hose and the high pressure line is being disconnected. And if I will open it, likewise you can see the threads are opening now. So if it is opening and here the spindle is opening or the spindle is withdrawing itself from this position. So if it is withdrawing then this middle hose is connected through this chamber to this high pressure side. Likewise, this hand, high pressure side has got a hand wheel. This low pressure side is also provided with a hand wheel. If I will open it here, then the refrigerant or nitrogen gas, whatever they may communicate from this pipe to this pipe or there will be a two-way communication established between the suction side hose and the middle side hose. So I hope you have understood the manifold gauge. If uh, some query is being asked, so I will address them flat. Thank you. Number one. Number two we will be requiring for our experimental purpose. This, this is very convergent, this is very well known to you. This we call is a D spanner or open ended spanner. These are the things. And these are some legs. This is not tools and equipment. Uh, these uh, are good uh, for positioning or fixing our pulling coils. This our students have also been fabricated. We will see how these uh, legs are being provided. Uh, how to while this installing this cooling coil. Another uh, very well known tool you will be requiring that is your adjustable spanner. This one is your adjustable spanner. One noble equipment you may not come across that is called as this is ratchet. Why I am calling it as very noble because uh, you can this has got two lock positions and here uh, four sizes of uh, nuts or the, can be opened or tightened. This is 1 by 4 inch, 1 by 4 inch means approximately 6 mm, 3 by 8, that means for this 9 mm, and here it is 3 by 16. So it will be 4.5 or 6 mm, and this is 5 by 16 inch. All the dimensions are in inch. And how this ratchet will be used in uh, operating our valves, service valves, to open and close the service valves, I will show this. With Another is your, this is also, a, this we call it a valve key. Valve key, four different sizes are also can be opened. And this valve key will be used uh, for opening our nitrogen cylinder. Can you uh, see our nitrogen? This is the nitrogen hose for uh, air fuel condensing unit. We will require this uh, nitrogen cylinder. Yes, I can also show you this cylinder here you see and this is the nitrogen cylinder this is the valve and these are the gauge the one gauge number one this first gauge will show you the pressure inside the cylinder and this gauge adjacent to this this will show the pressure which is communicating through the hose to our air cool condensing to open this valve, we require this valve key. This is the valve key. Likewise, we can do it. And we have to tight it. We have to very first tight it because nothing is leak through in this valve. So, in due course of time, it leaks or it adjusts. Whether you use it or not, it does not matter, but it leaks. Minor leaks are always there. Okay, thank you. Next, we will go for some other equipments. Media partner, listener, please know yourself.
and in some later and the another number two or number three sister will come to we will be a team so three students and myself who will be carrying up okay this time come some later part no problem uh, so we have shown uh, we have some thing you need pulling coil manifold gauge uh, deep spanner adjustable spanner ratchet ha uh, main important thing this is liquid leak detector in uh, household or in your uh, uh, house uh, you might have seen uh, the mechanic or technicians they come and they use the soap bubble solution i do not advise to make the use of soap bubble solution because they contain some chlorine and uh, this should be avoided uh, we uh, liquid or foam enhancer you can call a liquid leak detector foam enhancer means this uh, droplet we will make apply at every a potential leak at every uh, every joints and uh, if uh, the bubble will promote or the bubble will progress bubble will develop gradually then a leak is being detected so this uh, <coughs> thing this uh, snook liquid leak detector is going to help us very vitally in detecting the leak okay thank you come so once again uh, let me introduce uh, uh, my team members audio video but uh, krishna is krishna is dealing with uh, myself satya prakash sanjay and uh, rajesh sanjay and rajesh will uh, assist in uh, executing the performance of uh, leak testing for air redundancy unit okay so we will begin about uh, the description of parts of this air condensing unit and uh, you can see this uh, much and uh, another uh, so as i have told you uh, one two <coughs> thing you will uh, it will be different from our residential commercial units that they do not have got valves you can see here uh, you can see. these two are called as valves and these two are service valves so how the service valves assist us uh, you can see here uh, three here there are two arrangements there and uh, one port is being blocked another port we have uh, uh, fitted a non return valve i will show you a non return valve Uh, so this is uh, uh, three positions are there. The valve has got three positions: front seat, back seat, and mid seat. I will tell you. I will <coughs> by while uh, uh, doing the experiment. Uh, this part you are very much well conversant. The compressor. So this is the suction line of this compressor. So here it is. Uh, get it, the refrigerant get it, getting soft. and uh, the high pressure refrigerant is uh, discharged from this compressor from this portion and it is going to the condenser from where uh, the hot <coughs> refrigerant is uh, removing or they are uh, uh, rejecting the heat with the help of this fan and after it it is getting liquefied and here we have got a receiver so this uh, liquid refrigerant is being stored here in this receiver this receiver you can tell uh, it is a device which uh, uh, optimizes the performance in uh, our uh, uh, residential air conditioners this receiver is also there and from receiver this is the outlet from receiver this is the outlet and it is coming uh, you can see this tube is coming like this and here this is the service valve this is the service valve for this liquid line or this is the service valve for the high pressure line okay so up to this point this is high pressure line and here we can control the mass flow rate of refrigerant with this service valve and this is a dryer from strainer uh, why this dryer and strainer is incorporated prior to capillary tube you people are well known to this capillary tube because this capillary tube uh, 
uh, the refrigerant has to pass through a constricted passage. So any dart or uh, some uh, cheap part of this uh, of this bars while uh, fabricating these tubes, they may restrict the passage of this capillary tube. So in order to prevent or in order to make a safe guard for this capillary tube, this dryer tom strainer is uh, placed just before this capillary tube and here the pressure drop happens. Uh, so this uh, capillary tube where the pressure drop happens from the high pressure side to low pressure side and uh, we can also call uh, this is evaporator pressure or cooling coil pressure. Now our objective and, uh, and you can see this part is open, this is open and uh, this part is open. So we have to assemble a cooling coil. So Rajesh, you can bring up cooling coil. They have fabricated this uh, cooling coil. So uh, I think uh, it's uh, So first, uh, we have to just uh, hand tie it. I do not incorporate that right now. Uh, now, uh, just bring it to closure. Uh, now tight it, Sanjay. Yes. Now you can place the legs so that stability, some kind of stability we can provide. Sanjay has to hold and Rajesh has to tie because Rajesh has to hold the clearing nut. Whenever you will feel a substantial amount of force, it is resisting uh, that uh, because it is a potential lift point. Uh, so likewise you tie. Rajesh, no, you go to that point. So the cooling pile is established and uh, our next uh, task uh, would be uh, to make it uh, packing, yes. to make it packing and uh, then uh, apply some nitrogen gas to check the deep testing. Okay. So our manifold gas. Uh, 
just uh, attach that uh, this is the blue side, that means this is the low pressure side or this is the suction side. And as I have told you in the description part, uh, this uh, middle hose, the hose which is colored yellow, uh, this will be connected to our battery. After uh, hand tight, you can just make a little bit of tight in our deep panel. I think uh, 10, 12, this panel will okay, just let it tight. Yeah, just, just, is open so you can close that one this is the noble device as I have told ratchet so check whether it is there in front seat or back seat Rajesh is uh, tightening it with the help of adjustable spanner. The all links have been provided. It is advisable to go for some hand tight. Rather than after hand tight, for making it more secure, we are little bit uh, tightening it with the help of adjustable spanner. Now you can see. Uh, uh, just you can hold it. You can just place it here. No problem. Now you can see. Uh, as these two are mid seated. So the circuit is open now. So whatever the as it was in uh, ideal condition for some days, so it is quite evident that air has gone into this system. So contain some uh, moisture in the air has might have gone into the system. So we are withdrawing with the help of this uh, suction side and it is coming to this side here. And now uh, when they will on this vacuum pump, they have to open it. So Rajesh, can we make start this vacuum procedure? Uh, please, on the switch. Okay. So Rajesh, now it is vacuuming, but it is obstructing here. So you have to open this valve. Uh, yes, the sound change. Open it uh, halfway. No problem. So it is advisable minimum 15 minutes vacuum. Ah, open more. You can open more full. No problem. And you can see here the vacuum. Here the gauge you can see. This is zero. Uh, zero means absolute atmospheric pressure, and it is coming towards negative. So it is something like minus uh, 20 psi or minus 30 demarcation is here. It is uh, not 8 reached to minus 30. 
so it is a midway it is midway and here is also a vacuum gauge in the vacuum pump it is also showing the pressure you can show the moisture here uh, if it can be seen the moisture and along with some uh, oil the oil will evaporate the oil <coughs> inside this uh, vacuum pump oil along with uh, moisture it is going out you can place it here a little bit watch So the vacuum process is going on. Uh, uh, we will uh, check. Uh, uh, this is a formal and in that this is a formal method of uh, checking again leak whether our system is holding this much vacuum or not. You can say uh, here it is showing. You can see approximately minus 25. Huh? It is approximately minus 25. So we will hold this vacuum. If the our machine is holding this vacuum or not for five minutes, we have to check. How we have to check? We will tighten this screw. Whenever we will tighten this screw, the same pressure will be there, and we will off that vacuum pump. If it will again bounce back to some higher pressure, then we will say we can say that there is any liquid inside our system. So uh, we can uh, close this one. now he is closing this valve that means at this much of pressure he is restricting tight it securely again again more secure okay fine now you have to off the vacuum pump and you keep is there any jumping it is uh, approximately steady at that position now the vacuum pump is not running but our uh, negative pressure is being maintained if it is a very micro or nano level leak na so it must have jumped up so we will check it uh, by soap bubble no doubt but this is a preliminary level check whether our system is holding the vacuum or not so this check every technician they must carry out this is a formal check before going uh, to check by the soap bubble is there any leak or not and another potential leak also potential leak testing we will also make you so now uh, we will charge with the nitrogen gas some high pressure and if that high pressure is being maintained so that is again a leak testing yes so it is holding that uh, negative pressure so uh, we have to uh, charge with nitrogen sanjay how we have to charge with nitrogen nitrogen again uh, this is the position this is the hello host that is being connected to the vacuum pump okay so that hello host i have told this is the middle host so this is used for charging discharging or vacuum pump so only this host to this host we will connect the other and we will provide nitrogen gas inside it how much pressure we are able to give it inside that that much we will apply And for this, you might require valve key. Uh, you hold. We are making open that uh, uh, Rajesh and Rajesh, you come with me to open that nitrogen cylinder. Rajesh.
then yes uh, so the big pressure is communicated to the This is again a valve, so nitrogen pressure is being communicated to this point. Whenever this valve will be opened, then this pressure will come to this point. So again, we have to open this one to go for this. Now, Krishna, you can just come here and show how the pressure is being rising. Here it is negative pressure, so uh, open it. Now you can see, I will open this one, yes. Now you can see the pressure rising in pressure. So whether this pressure is being able to maintain or not, you can just hold. Now Rajesh, uh, this is uh, something like uh, uh, 50, 25 PSI. So you can apply soap bubble at every joint, including these points. Just we have uh, hand tightened it and some we have thickened it. Now you close that part. Because uh, if any leak will be there, but cylinder pressure will communicate to this one. Uh, tight it securely so that no pressure will be. Mm, first apply the leak solutions. And these bubbles will drop down. Every point they are here and at these points. You come to this side, Rajesh. You come to this side. Here you can see uh, apply bubbles. Okay. Now at there, chance of leakage. Nitrogen, if leaks, no problem, but we cannot uh, afford refrigerant to leak. This is a against law, against nature, if refrigerant leaks into atmosphere. Here, there was a little bit of uh, hissing sound when I have opened the valve, so check that point also, otherwise you have to tie it. So now it is uh, holding the pressure. You can see at uh, something like 25 or 30 psi, all the valves are being closed. The vacuum pump is closed, and uh, these two are uh, in uh, these two valves are in mid mid seat position. So that means the entire pressure is communicated through air cooled condensing units, cooling coils, and uh, from this up to this point, up to this both point. So everywhere at every point, the pressure is 25 pc. Then uh, open this. You can open this hose. So you, Krishna, this middle hose, nitrogen hose. No, here yeah, you can open by hand. No problem. Uh, just so that 25 psi will be retained because this valve is closed. Now open, open. No problem. 
This valve is closed, na? Yes, sir. Otherwise, we will cut off the nitrogen. Let me go. The pressure is same here. Make that valve close. Ah. Otherwise, I think uh, valve was open, so some uh, gas was being passed out here. But the pressure here is just at 25 pressure. Okay. Okay. So thank you. Thank you, team. Thank you, sir. Hello, good afternoon. Today we will go for uh, charging, and uh, in this regard, this is our refrigerant tank. You can see R four zero four A. A means this is an azotropic agent. Four zero four A azotropic. So this refrigerant will be charged into this cooling coil and air cool condensing unit. So how to charge the equipments are required. I am just uh, giving you an briefing. Uh, we require this uh, weighing machine, and this is the weighing gauge. Here, <coughs> the weighing gauge it is showing the reading 15.4 kg, and uh, this is the uh, valve position of this. The valve position, and there is a the hand wheel position where it will be the the valve it is safety cap. This is the safety cap of this, and Uh, this one is the adapter. This adapter is required for this charging. It will be connected to here, and this is the, as I have told you, uh, the yellow one is the middle hose. So this will be connected to here. So I will ask uh, Sanjay uh, to go for some wrapping of Teflon tape and securely adhere this adapter into refrigerant tank. Okay, Sanjay. Now you can see how he is wrapping. Three to four to five revolutions. So Sanjay has uh, wrapped the tablet top. Now you can tighten it. You can extra tight it with the help of a spanner, adjustable wrench. Secure it. Okay. So now we we'll connect the hose pipe. Another thing I want to make you so just remove your hand. With the attachment of this adapter and this uh, gauge, sorry, this is the valve key. The weight you can see here; it is it is showing uh, 15.7 kg. So you attach this uh, hose also. All the gross weight we have to consider. Uh, do we require any Teflon? Secure it with the help of adjustable wrench.
Okay, over. So now you can see the way it is showing. Just remove. It is fifteen point eight. Again, at the time of charging, I will also show you. Now the recipient will be communicated through this middle hose. The L one is the middle hose, and I will uh, ask uh, Manav to. Connect this uh, high pressure line to the high pressure side or the vapor line, and you can also use some teflon. Uh, here it is teflon. Just two rounds, two to three rounds of this. Another thing I want to make you here. You can see this is also called a spreader valve. Very popularly known as non-return valve. Krishna, you can show it here. This is the non-return from this side, the front view. Here you can see there is a nostril. So this is the valve. The valve is inserted inside this, so this is the straddle valve, and also we call it non-return valve. Quickly, the more time you will take, atmosphere will be communicated inside this securely, and uh, you can a uh, little bit uh, extra torque you can give with the help of a wrench. With the help of wrench, you can be able to test it. Yes. Now all set is all thing are being set up, and here in this manifold gauge, I want to show you in this middle hose, this uh, low pressure or blue line, this is being tight. and here we will charge with help of this high pressure side or this red hose so this red hose will will unscrew it as a result of which refrigerant will flow from the tank into our system and the desired amount will be governed by the weight first we will add only 200 grams of refrigerant okay. now you can open the valve you can show there how the valve of the uh, refrigerant tank is being opened hmm. okay this much now you can put it here in place again you saw see this weight is 15 point 15.7 kg it is showing 15.7 kg we will stop when it will be 15.5 kg Now, Sanjay, you can uh, mix it the two valves. Now he is making mix it. Mix it means uh, the valve will be in middle position. While well, uh, unscrewing it, always put one hand at the base so that it will not stop. Now that much, that much. You can charge the refrigerant into the system. Just open slowly, and here you can see. Uh, Slowly, fifteen point seven. Charge it, no problem. Charge it. The weight is not reduced. Ah, okay. Now you can see. 
फिफ्टीन पॉइंट थ्री तो अनादर हंड्रेड ग्राम विल ऑल्सो एड ऑन द रेफ्रिजरेंट एंड यू कैन शो ऑल्सो सम थ्री हंड्रेड ग्राम्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी एडेड द रेफ्रिजरेंट वी कैन यू कैन अनादर वन वन हंड्रेड ग्राम पॉइंट वन के जी एड यू कैन सी हियर यू कैन शो हियर charge it charge it no problem you can make the compressor on fifteen point two kg you can come this just charge a little bit and you can see here fifteen point two charge i will stop i will when i will tell you stop you will stop charging so charging na ah 15.1 just little bit open ओपन बस फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन के जी ओके स्टॉप चार्जिंग स्टॉप डू नॉट पुट योर हैंड वेन एवर वी आर पुटिंग द हैंड द वेट इज बींग एडेड सो नाउ यू कैन सी द फाइनल वेट इट इज फिफ्टीन पॉइंट जीरो के जी सो वी हैव एडेड अटमोस्ट फाइव हंड्रेड ग्राम ऑफ रेफ्रिजरेंट दैटॉप Now you can see the refrigerant, the ice permission. So you can see here, it is being charged, and another thing, the suction line is also getting refrigerated. You can see. So we have. Uh, charged a little bit of extra amount of refrigerant so we have to remove some amount of refrigerant okay you see the ice formation there after that we will remove something some amount of refrigerant you can see this is the cooling coil uh, we call it as chiller we call it as evaporator whatever it may be this is the first line of refrigerant the second row and this is also the third row and you can see the uh, the moisture in the air is getting uh, into ice formation okay so this is the only the moisture we are do not have any added any water So, so this uh, formation, fog formation, or ice formation, this is uh, whatever the moisture in the air that is getting permitted, and uh, we have successfully uh, charged the refrigerant into this system, and the system is running.